What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some brand new DLC that Rockstar just recently confirmed on their Newswire and this DLC is awesome, they've actually done a really nice Newswire this time they've stated a bunch of new things that is going to be coming to GTA 5 Online in the next few updates so if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video make sure you hit that like button down below guys once again can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes that would be awesome and with that said, let's begin. So, starting this off, I'm going to have a link to the newswire in the description below for you guys to check out for yourselves and read up on. But I want to start off with a bang, and this bang is the High Life update. Now, this update is a new upcoming DLC that is going to be coming out very shortly. And as you can see on screen right now, here is some actual text from the newswire itself. And this is amazing, guys. It says, the High Life update will allow you to expand your foothold in Los Santos with new high-end apartment options, the powerful ballpup rifle, new wardrobe items, the Dinka Thrust motorcycle, and three new lavish cars to choose from, including the super-class Pegasi Zentorno. The High Life update will also feature the debut of multi-property ownership in GTA 5 Online, which means you will be able to own two distinct properties with garages simultaneously. All the plus the new mental state player statistic, which is designed to let you see just how passive or psychotically unhinged fellow players in your session really are, and a new slew of new jobs. So as you can see by that alone, this is by far the best thing that Rockstar has ever released to us or is going to be releasing to us. The new apartments by itself, double the garage space, all that stuff is some of the most amazing things that is going to be coming to GTA 5 online soon. As well as the new cars such as the Pegasi Zentorno, which we all knew anyway. FunMW2 did leak this a while back, a lot of YouTubers including myself made a video on this, so we already knew this. Well, like I said before guys, FunMW2 is by far the best guy for leaking information, he always leaks confirmed stuff. I will have a link to his Twitter in the description below, make sure you guys go ahead and follow him. Along with that, you have this new statistic that is coming, which is mental state, which obviously can allow you guys to see if someone is passive or always killing people, I guess. And obviously, you do have new jobs as well. So with all that being said, Rockstar have definitely done a really good job with this update. I literally can't wait for this. And there was actually three new vehicles they did mention, and only one was actually mentioned in that little bit of text. So I'm going to be showing you guys now the actual images of these. As you can see on the right, there is the Pegasi Zentorno, which looks absolutely amazing. On the left, we have the Debachi Masacro, which is another one of the vehicles, and also the Enos Huntley, which we don't actually have an image of, but I'm sure we will have images for that soon. Alongside this, we also have an image of the Bullpup Rifle that is going to be coming to Ammunition soon, so that is the image of the Bullpup Rifle right there. So with all that being said, this is the new DLC update that is going to be coming very shortly. Rockstar have also released a few more things on their news while I'm going to be talking about now. But that was the DLC and I literally can't wait for that guys. The new apartments is just amazing. That is, to me, that is the best part about this. New high-end apartments. So we're going to be seeing some brand new apartments and the fact that we can have two of them as well is absolutely awesome. Nevertheless guys, moving on from this, now I want to talk about heists. So Rockstar did actually release a statement about heists on their newswire, which you're going to see on screen right now. So as you can see, it says heists coming this spring to Grand Theft Auto Online. Now from that statement alone, we can already tell that Rockstar are kind of giving us a little bit of a release time for when heists is actually going to come. Aside from that, it does say team up with your most trusted crew members or with random other mercenaries in Grand Theft Auto Online to pull off cooperative heist missions for glory and profit. We know many in the GTA Online community have been looking forward to this update. Stay tuned for much, much more information to come. So Rockstar are kind of holding back Heist constantly to make it perfect. Hopefully, when they do eventually release Heist, it is going to be amazing. Nevertheless, that is the Heist covered. Additionally, they are going to be adding in a content creator update, and that is actually coming this week, or next week, I believe. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but as you can see on screen once again, there is the text from the newswire itself about this. Basically, you guys are going to be able to create capture missions and place a bunch of different stuff, you know, weaponry, set locations, and tweak tons of other variables. And basically, you guys are going to be able to make missions. So, that is coming next week. You guys can look forward to that. Aside from that, obviously, you've got the new DLC, which is coming soon, as well as heists as well. Now, that is pretty much all the information I do have. There's actually a lot of things on this news why I'm not going to be able to cover. So, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the fact that old stunting is coming back. Now, a lot of people already knew this. Rockstar already have confirmed this. But it is now on their news wire. They did release a statement about it on their news wire. So, once again, as you can see on screen, the news wire does state a recent update address an issue that we saw with the way motorcycles and bikes handled whilst in the air. As it turned out, many members of the GTA stunting community were disappointed to discover that this fix made pulling off certain popular bike tricks and stunts virtually impossible, so we're going to be restoring the original in-air motorcycle slash bike physics 
in an upcoming title update. In general, we are open to keeping unintended glitches in the game if players enjoy them and they aren't causing any negative impact on gameplay or fairness in any way. So Rockstar are basically saying that they are open to keep glitches that weren't intended in the game as long as they don't harm anything and they're just generally fun to do. So that is another cool thing along with the original stunting coming back. I'm sure a lot of you stunting guys out there are happy. Nevertheless, that is pretty much it for the commentary. If you guys want to see the full news wire, link in the description below. Be sure to check that out. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys looking forward to this new DLC? Make sure you comment down below and I'll be sure to check that out. And with that said, if you did go on to enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we charge you for something well over 500 likes? And if you guys want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2DynamicHD. We are always trying to interact with you guys on there and keep you up to date on what we're going to post next. Anyway, with that said, I will see you all in the next video.